First Alert Weather with meteorologist Gib Brown. By all accounts, it was a gorgeous day out there. Lots of sunshine and temperatures very pleasant. 80 degrees, 81 as a matter of fact, we made it through today. We normally should be in the mid 70s. Uh, it is going to be a whole lot warmer tomorrow. Flirting with that 93 as you can see right there. But temperatures right now in the 60s for the most part. A very nice night. We have a bright moon out there for most of us. Some of us seeing more in the way of cloudiness. That is mainly along the Canadian border. but. A lot of us still holding on to temperatures that are in the 70s. We are going to cool down a little bit tonight, but not a whole lot. We're going to pick up a southerly flow. That's going to turn those temperatures around tomorrow, and those no, those temperatures are really going to rocket upward uh, during the morning hours. Now, here's what's going on. Really not a whole lot of anything. Look, no severe weather. We've got the active warnings in place right now, but there just aren't any across the entire country. So things are quiet because they're warm just about everywhere from west coast to east coast, and that is uh, where we're going to be uh, uh, sampling what we're going to be sampling tomorrow. We have basically a warm front that's pushing across the area and that warm front is pr producing some clouds and just north of the border, perhaps a few showers, but uh, not much more than that. Once this front lifts through, we are going to see those temperatures really begin to soar. So here is that boundary right here. High pressure to our south it's going to funnel in a southerly flow of air and it's going to be remaining warm for the next couple days because this warm air is going to be entrenched not only Sunday and Monday because this frontal boundary that would normally cool things off is going to take its sweet old time moving southward. So that's not going to happen until late Monday, probably early Tuesday. Once this front decides it's going to uh, slide southward, uh, things are going to cool down. But we're going to continue to see a warm pulse of air into Monday with hot conditions and the heat and humidity will both be a little bit higher. Uh, heat indices will be uncomfortable, especially on Monday. And then finally, that cold front drops through that cooler air that takes takes place on Tuesday. Showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday. Wednesday, it's going to be a beautiful day with lots of sunshine and nice cool temperatures. So Futurecast showing those clouds associated with that front tonight. Clear skies tomorrow morning. A beautiful sunny start to Sunday. Just a few clouds, maybe a band of clouds going through midday, but that's just about it. Tomorrow night's going to be nice and mainly clear, partly cloudy during the morning hours on Monday, and then pushing through warmer air, a little bit more humidity. It's going to be downright uncomfortable. Then from uh, into Tuesday, that cold front drops through showers and thunderstorms, and the rest is cool and refreshing air for the middle of the week. Things looking pretty darn good out there. So overall tonight, 66 will be our low. It's going to be warm and partly cloudy out there. Tomorrow's highs, 90 degrees in the Champlain Valley. Look at this, 91 degrees in the Rutland, eight, and up in the 80s across the St. Lawrence River Valley, 90 degrees, 92 in Keene. Checking out the five day forecast for you. Uh, first of all, the boating forecast. This is where you really want to be tomorrow. It is going to be a nice warm day where temperatures are going to be in the 50s for the lake water temperature and winds really should not be a big problem at all. They may become a problem on Monday. Monday, a hot day as well. 91 degrees. Then we cool down with showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday. 81 then. Refreshing Wednesday, 70 degrees, 76 degrees on Thursday. As we approach Father's Day, we've got some showers Friday and Saturday. Right now, it looks like Father's Day on Sunday is going to be on the dry and seasonal side. Liam?